Hello my friends and welcome back to the bench. Today is a sort of unique video in that uh, this is a sample of what I will be doing with my Patreon channel. And uh, I took the opportunity from a question that was asked today. And uh, it's an exact type of question of which I would put on my a Patreon channel and uh, where I'm going to take requests from my Patreons. And for this one, this normally would have been on there from a subscriber and they would have asked me but here we're going to do it live on uh, YouTube to give you guys an example of what I'm going to do with my Patreon. Just a quick video. And oop, look out. Here we go with the camera. Uh, what the question was, was from a week ago I tested this KBS Diamond Clear finish. And I airbrushed it. And uh, wonderful, wonderful product. It was great. Uh, it needed to be thinned. And that's why the, the video was delayed. I was waiting for their thinner to come in. And um, the question was asked... When I dipped the spoon, and the chrome kind of lost its uh, its chrome look, they asked, what if I dipped it, you know, what if I sprayed it without the primer and dipped a bunch of uh, a chrome into the can instead of uh, airbrushing the chrome like I did. I airbrushed, I airbrushed one of my chrome spoons instead of dipping it. I dipped, uh, I think I dipped one of my uh, colors here on the spoon. And um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to dip some of these chrome spoons. Now, uh, this is um, Jump Wind. These are those cr Jump Wind Chroma paints that I, I love so much. Tested these a few weeks ago. But uh, here we have all clad. So we're going to stick uh, to the test of this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try these, but this is the main test. All clad black chrome. That's what these are. We'll keep one like this, and we'll dip one. And we'll look at the difference. Is that's what we're going to do. We're just going to dip them. I'll lay them down here. I, use, I might hang them like I did the other piece over my trash can. You hang them over and let them drip. And uh, But that's what we're going to do. I got some extras here. I don't know what I have here. Oh, this is E7. Yeah, E7. I labeled it. This is the E7 chrome. So uh, it's probably what this is too. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to be using thinner. We're just going to go ahead with this. This is a typical Patreon question type video answer. And that's why I figured I'd show you guys what I mean by that. And that's all. We're just going to answer his question directly in video form. This is a scrap piece of paper I have down here. So I will lay them on here. And uh, when I'm done, I will hang them and let them drip. And then after a couple hours of drying, we'll come back and check this out. Now in the background, you see some stuff. These are some tests that I'm working on. I got the riser plus the risers these are from uh, Clarksville uh, hobby shop he sent me these to test and we are going to be testing these that's why you see them all out here plus I have the new spray of theirs here's uh, some of the cloths here's the gritter for uh, panel lining so that's coming up soon and I'm getting a collection of these in this is custom creative um, this is imported from Europe these are uh, solvent paint but uh, for the money right now uh, I think they're on sale or marked down. That's why I wanted to test them. Uh, this is a lot of paint for under 10 bucks. I think it's what they are. I'm waiting for a few more colors, and I'll be testing that soon, too. And, uh, of course, my panel liners are still available at Gundam Pros. These are the new jars. They don't leak. And uh, I believe they're almost sold out again, so I go we're going to be uh, refilling that order soon. And these are my neon enamels. But anyway, for this test, for Patreon, let's go ahead and dip. All right. One second, guys. Let me get a stick. We got to stir it up. Yep. They recommend you stir it up, even though it looks crystal clear. Um, you still got to blend. They said some of the solvents end up settling, even though you know it looks like crystal clear water to us. So let's just go ahead and stir it up quick. It's still in the can, as you can see, but I think I'm going to put it in a mason jar. I think that's where it's going to end up for a better seal. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Well, it certainly looks good over colors. I mean, this is the uh, jump wind, and boy, that is beautiful. Look at that. Now, I will get one of my cups here, and I bring it to where I'm going to have it drying as we walk across here. There we go. See it? So it doesn't um, make a mess. All right, I'll pause the camera. We'll dip the next one. All right, guys, the meat of the test is to check it over the all-clad chrome. I've already dipped the E7. 
I'll leave this one alone and the other one's drying so we'll compare them at the end and that's the the point of dipping these two so we're gonna dip one and compare one at the end so let's go ahead with the dip here we go now the the main question was without the thinner did it affect anything because uh, it did affect one of them I don't know which brand it is I gotta check the back of the spoon and one of them looked fine but it didn't quite look like chrome so we're figuring without the thinner maybe that's where the uh, affected where it got affected so that's why we're going ahead and dip, dipping this straight no thinner so uh, get one more drip out of this all right there it is it looks good so far but let's let this dry I'll see you guys in a couple hours and we'll compare it back to back with the all clad chrome that's not dipped and uh, let me show you a second let me get this around here let me show you where I'm putting these Hold on. There we go. Oop. See it? The silicone mat one of my viewers sent me. I don't know if he wants his name mentioned, but uh, it's a wonderful product. Nothing sticks to it. It's great. So I'm going to lay them on there. This time I was going to do the old hanging and let them drip, but we just want to see if it affects the paint. It's not so much for perfection at this point. So uh, I put them right on this little silicone mat in my booth, my paste spray booth, and... Uh, that's it. I'll let it dry. It's close to dinner time for me. I'm going to head upstairs and have my dinner. And I'll come back. We'll go over the results. And then we'll draw a conclusion. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Here we are. Back at the bench. Results are in. Um, well, just like before, it dipped nice over the color. All right. That really wasn't the test. The test was over chrome without using thinner so uh, here it is the E7 without and with and something happened here um, I'm not sure what we're looking at here but it uh, look at it it's beautiful on the top but something happened here it did not like the E7 chrome and even though it didn't seem to eat up the all clad it really it completely changed it let's use these girders here to hold up Look at that. Ready? Here it is. I mean, <laughs> it's day and night. So I, I, well, it has a cool look. I mean, if you want a smoky, you know, dark gray, blackish piece, I mean, it's, it's going to be protected. It's coated in this stuff, which is rock hard. But uh, you're going to have a whole different look versus this uh, beautiful black chrome. Now, this has been sitting a long time, months. And at, at this point, the stuff does become durable. So, I mean, you wait long enough. Uh, if you're going to build a kit this winter, get the parts and paint it now with uh, the all clad or whatever chrome you're using. And then by the time you open the box and stop building it, you know, I'm going to start pre painting some parts of my Guy King here. It's a pre painted kit, but there's some parts I don't like. I think while I'm experimenting with some colors, I'm going to go ahead and put them on that kit. Then I'll put it in the box. I'm going to build that kit probably uh, next month. But uh, yeah, I mean, it. If you're looking for durability, I think eventually the paint becomes durable. But here's the test, and that was the question. What happens if we dip the all-clad chrome into the diamond finish without using a thinner? And you can see the result right there. It's day and night. Turns it into a metallic black. Looks like a car paint. I put this on one of my car models, whereas this is black chrome. And uh, over color, it's fine. But it's a beautiful color. What is that? Jump Wind Chroma number 22. Whoa, that is good looking. Um, but yeah, it messed up the E7 chrome. It didn't like it. I don't know what these. I think it's a lacquer. But yeah, it didn't. It didn't affect this. So anyway, guys, that is a sample of what I would do on my Patreon channel. A question was asked: What if you took this and dipped it in that? And I answered the question in video form, and that's what I did. And that's a sample of my Patreon. So I'll put a link below if you guys want to join the Patreon. I mean, if you don't have a question, it helps out the channel. And you can watch other people's videos that I put up. And every, every so often, I'm going to put some behind-the-scenes videos up. Like when I paint a whole lineup of paints. But I only show like three on camera, four on camera. I'll show the rest. Maybe I'll put the unedited part uh, on Patreon. I'll do that too from time to time. And uh, but there you go. That's it. All right. I'm working on a few tests right now. These... Uh, Razor files, we're going to be testing those and some of their other products. Uh, I hope to get in more of these custom creative paints. Um, what else did I have? I have a few other things here. Boy, I have a lot of stuff to tape. I, I have uh, 
uh, cheap airbrush that's coming up to another cheap airbrush and I have a real nice airbrush coming after that and uh, anyway there you go guys that was the uh, a sample of a patreon video it'll be a little more compact it won't have any of the flash at the end with subscribing it's it'll be uh, mostly just this video and I'll dip it and we'll look at the results and uh, that way if somebody says I want to know what this purple looks like sprayed over this blue I'll take the blue I'll spray the purple over it. I'll do that on camera and I'll show the results you know on my patreon channel that's where I'm taking requests. Anyway, guys, have a good one. It is Friday right now, but I will see you over the weekend with another video. Have a good rest of the weekend, and we will see you soon. Have a good one, guys.